From the moment I was born, I wanted to explore the world. As a child, I was always discovering something new. When I got my first set of wheels, I learned something about myself. I was born to ride. Moab. Vast open landscapes filled with towering natural arches, smooth red walled canyons, and slick sand rock has created a paradise for off road enthusiasts. As I left Moab and made my way south to Colorado, my streak of good weather seemed to be coming to an end. Black clouds formed in the sky as I rode south to Highway 550, also known as the Million Dollar Highway. I mean, it looks fine over there, right? Look at that! Oh my god! I hope that's kind of behind me and that's not coming this way. Because that is a lot of gray. That's a lot of precipitation coming down. Oh my god. No one really knows how this 25 mile stretch of road between Silverton and Uruguay came to be known as the Million Dollar Highway. Some say that the gravel required to build the road contained over a million dollars worth of gold and silver. Another theory is that back when it was a wagon trail, the locals would claim that they wouldn't drive on this dangerous road even for a million bucks. It's funny how so many of these old wagon trails have turned into fantastic motorcycle roads. Today, the Million Dollar Highway is well known as one of the most spectacular rides in America. However, with the weather looking questionable, I wasn't sure what kind of million dollar experience I was going to have as I rode into Silverton. The town of Silverton, Colorado looks like a cowboy era movie set. Dirt streets, buildings with that classic western false front and steam locomotives all harken back to a bygone era. Look at this old Grand Imperial Hotel. That's cool looking. Lone Spur Cafe. Oh, I gotta go have lunch at the Lone Spur Cafe. That sounds perfect. Fittingly, I decided to stop for lunch at the Lone Spur Cafe and listen to local pianist Lacey Black entertain the patrons with her ragtime tunes. After lunch, I officially started on the Million Dollar Highway, only to be met with torrential rain and an annoying amount of traffic. Boy, this would be a lot of fun if it was dry road. Highway 550 didn't turn out to be the million dollar experience that I was hoping for, but the burgers and tunes in Silvertown more than made up for it. Bear Creek Trailhead Tunnel. That's a pretty short tunnel. But, do you know what we do with tunnels? <laughs> That's the Million Dollar Highway, and this is the town of your way. Well, I don't know if that highway is worth a million dollars. If it was no traffic, yeah, it might be a lot of fun. But with the amount of traffic on there, and the, it's kind of boring. I actually prefer the McKenzie Highway one much more than that one. I'd probably, if, if there's no traffic, I'd do it from your way to Silverton. I think that'd be a funner route because you're climbing more. Oh, look at that opera house. Known as a Switzerland of America due to its many mountain passes, Uruguay is a popular destination for off-road enthusiasts. Whether you're on two wheels or four, the local mountain passes offer stunning views of the San Juan mountain range. Unfortunately, due to the bad weather, I just ended up doing laundry. With laundry done and the weather clearing up, it was time for me to hit the dirt. Okay, enough of this pavement stuff. Since I'm in Colorado, home of the Rocky Mountains, let's get off the pavement and check out some of the dirt roads. 
The plan for the day was to ride over the Owl Creek Pass and make my way to the small town of Gunnison. How's it going, cows? Hehehe, <laughs> so cute. You guys take it easy, it's no big deal. Don't be so scared, buddy. Where are you going? All your buddies went that way. Yeah, okay. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. See ya. Owl Creek Pass is a well-maintained gravel mountain road that offers scenic views of the Cimarron mountain range. In fact, this area was used to film scenes from two classic cowboy movies, True Grit and How the West Was Won, starring John Wayne. I wasn't able to give the amazing views my full attention though as my focus was drawn to a strange rattle that I heard coming from my bike. What the f is that buzzing? I don't know what the f that is. Is it from the front? Is it that? Is it this? Oh, it's that. Oh shit. Okay, wow. I continued on my way wondering how I was going to fix my bike when an unlikely solution presented itself in the form of a stranger walking on the side of the road. Why is this old woman like riding, walking in the middle of nowhere here? That's rather interesting. Hello. Good. Well, the lady that was walking, her name is Sandy, she told me that there's a guy up here who's kind of a local mechanic. And he might be able to fix my loose crash bar. She says there's a big open field on the left, pickup trucks and RVs. And it might start raining, and the road is getting bump bumpier, she said. Oh, it's probably this guy here. Let's go find out. Excuse me. Hi there. A lady named Sandy suggested to come here and that there might be a mechanic who might be able to fix something on my bike. Okay, so he's. it'll be an hour. Yeah, tell Morgan, tell Morgan it'll be an hour because he's all the way up here in Silver Jacket. Um, so it'd be an hour and I'm sending him your way. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Well, that's interesting. Thanks to that lady who was out for a hike. I met Pete, the mechanic. And he's going to introduce me to Morgan, the other mechanic who's hopefully gonna be able to fix my bike. I bet that happened in Oregon. Whoa. Holy shit. That broke that thing right off. Look at that. I can't see that these roads would do that. That 15 kilometers of washboard probably broke it. Realizing that it was the washboard roads in Oregon that broke my bike, I gingerly made my way across the washboard roads to Highland Cycles. I couldn't be more grateful for the team at Highland Cycles for fitting me in and doing a fantastic job of getting me back on the road. Thumbs up to those guys. What a crazy day. What are you doing to me, Colorado? So now that the donkey is uh, back to working order, I'm heading back towards Gunnison, which is where I was originally gonna stay before I had that detour. And the guys at the shop, they told me a different route. Instead of heading back on Highway 50, they told me to take this highway, which I think was, uh, I can't remember, 192, 93 or something like that. This highway, they said, is a lot more fun. So let's hope for no more issues in Colorado. The Million Dollar Highway might have been a bust, but Highway 92 more than made up for it with its fun twisty roads and no traffic.
This road is endless. Good Lord. Good Lord. Boy, one momentary lapse of concentration and uh, you're off the line. I was having a blast until I noticed something out of the corner of my eye. You're either doing the tumble down to the... Whoa, holy shit. Wait a minute. Turns out that Highway 92 follows the Gunnison River, which is part of the Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park. Holy crap, I just saw it to the bottom of this canyon. I didn't realize that. Oh my god. Look at this. Look at this canyon. Holy crap. The park's unique name is due to the fact that the canyon being so deep and narrow that the walls are often covered in shadow. Despite some weather challenges, I enjoyed the amazing scenery that Colorado has to offer. And thanks to the help from some friendly locals, I was able to get my bike fixed and continue on my way. Oh my God, what a day today turned out to be. <laughs> this trip has been a very weird trip. But now I am in Gunnison. I'm gonna find some food, I'm gonna get some gas. I'm gonna find some food, and I'm gonna find my hotel before that rain cloud arrives. <laughs> After a long and very unpredictable day, I finally made it to my hotel room in Gunnison. I can't imagine anything going wrong in Wyoming. The vast open spaces, friendly people, and historical ties to the founding of America all gave Wyoming that distinctive feel of the fabled land of the free. Well, coming up on a water crossing. You know what, I better actually slow down because that could be mud. That could be, whoa, whoa, ah, oh, shit, damn it, oh no. Oh, that's pretty muddy. 